everybody and welcome back to another Coach TGS video. I'm excited because this particular video is actually very close to my heart. Let me give you a story. One time, as you all know, I also I, I do run my own training and consultancy firm and I conduct trainings in other companies and usually the clients would always ask me, is it all right to take a video of you? while you are doing your talk. Now, some speakers, and they have their own reasons, but this is really my my opinion on this one. Some speakers do not like because, you know, of course, at the end of the day, it's a business, and so you would want some uh, follow-up programs. And so if they take your video, then there wouldn't be any batch two or batch three or batch four. But I tell my clients always, that sure, no problem. You can take a video of me. Why? Why do I allow companies or clients to actually record when I speak? Well, let me tell you a story so you kind of understand the, how TGS thinks. There is a farmer. There was a farmer who keeps on winning the state fairs. You know, in the U.S., there are state fairs. Like, you know, the biggest corn, the largest watermelon, the biggest um, eggplant. <laughs> uh, the best pumpkin, you know, and they grow it and they would win what we call a blue ribbon. You know? So every year, these farmers would really feel proud about winning the blue ribbon. And there was this one particular farmer who keeps on winning the blue ribbon year after year after year for having the best corn. So one of the reporters asked him, and you know, uh, he, the reporter asked him the question, why is your corn always the best every year? What is your secret? Farmer said, well, it's no secret at all. My seeds, the, the seeds I use for my corn, I actually share it to my neighbors. Porter was astounded. He said, huh? Why would you do that? Don't you want to keep that secret just within your farm and not have your neighbors be, you know, good competitors so that, you know, you make sure that you have that winning streak. And the farmer smiled to the reporter and said, oh, you know, there's what you call, you know, like cross-pollination. When the wind blows, Whatever seeds are in the other farm will definitely go to my farm. And it will mix, you know, it will cross-pollinate with my corn, with my produce. And if their seeds are not as good as mine, then there is a chance that their seeds will, of course, make my crops of lesser quality. And so I want to make sure that everybody, all the farms surrounding me, have as good a seeds as I have. So that when the wind blows, everybody still wins. This is a story that I've always put in my mind and in my heart. If you're not willing to share your talent, if you're not willing to share to everybody and you're always paid every time you speak or you do something, then you actually lose the value of helping, the, your purpose. You're, you're actually losing, you're losing that opportunity to really find out what your purpose is in life. So share everybody, share your information, share your talent. Of course, I won't be a hypocrite and say everything is free. Of course, as I've said, at the end of the day, I also run a business. But if you don't want to, me to speak uh, to your organization, then, you know, I, I'm just here. Give me a ring, email me, uh, comment on this video, and let's talk about it. Because at the end of the day, if I, if I share my message to more people, then more people will perhaps hopefully get motivated, get inspired, have a better day, and treat others better. 
That's really the reason why I put up this YouTube channel, my dear subscribers. It's really to share with you the messages that I have been experiencing and have lived with in my entire life. I want to share with you my success, my failures, my mistakes, and of course, the joys of actually ripping success and victory. That's my goal. And I want you to actually experience what I've gone through and learn from it. And hopefully, that becomes my good deed for the week until the next video comes. So, give me a shout out if you want us to work together, if you want me to speak in your group or in your church or in your organization, I will be very willing to. Let's talk about it and let's see how we can work together and spread the seeds of good vibes. See you next time.